Well, good morning, everyone. This is Michelle from Michelle's Ink and Stamp It. And today I have part two of um, my flip flop tutorial, flip flop journal. And um, so I thought I would cover um, what all I'm using. So we made the flip flop journal, made the base for it. Um, Everybody always asks what kind of glues you use. These are my three main go-to, anything with fabric. Um, this is the same as fabric tack. Well, I don't know if it's the same as fabric tack, but it, it works just like fabric tack does. So um, uh, this is the Beacon 3-in-1. I love that. So anything with fabric or when I glue over um, anything that's really not paper, that pretty much covers that if the other things don't work. Um, this is my art glitter glue. It dries clear uh, and is fast, fast drying. This is not fast drying, the Beacon 3-in-1, so it gives you more time to maneuver things. And it's a wetter, but it's a solvent, so it doesn't go into your paper or ripple it at all. This will um, wrinkle your paper because uh, it is a water-based glue. And my glue stick is what I use the most, is the Scotch Create. This is a permanent, uh, multi-purpose. It's photo safe. Um, and you can uh, even use it with fabric, although I prefer the Beacon 3-in-1. Okay, so uh, I have a pencil for writing. Just going to put things away as I get them out. This is my um, Cricut spatula if I need to uh, cut anything. Um, yep, my envelopes at all, I've been using this because um, it's very sharp. Uh, I, like, I think I said in my last video, I have had this since 2006. And yeah, I've cut myself with it several times. <laughs> Not that that's funny, but... <laughs> Um, I'm using my tearing ruler. I have this little one for the little bits and to measure. Um, this my Cricut ruler also came with my um, uh, Cricut spatula. This is a stainless steel ruler that I rip with. It has the cork on the background, um, you know, so that you can get close to the edge of it. I flip it over and rip with my papers. I got this at the thrift store for, you guessed it, 50 cents. <laughs> Couldn't pass that one up when I saw it. I also have uh, my bone folder. I have the ergonomic one. Uh, I'm not sure what shape that is, kind of triangle-like, but not, not. And it's got the rounded edge on this side so that you can um, smooth over things and make everything nice and crisp and lay down real flat okay i am also um going to talk about uh, what i use for tag material so this was a toothbrush one of those battery operated toothbrushes and i just um, tore the toothbrush off the top i will fix this with um, my glue stick any parts that are sticking up and I will cover that with paper so we'll see that later on and then um, these are the two little bits that I showed you um, from the envelopes they were the cutoff pieces from here um, that I cut off um, you can use this like a pocket or uh, I had cut the ends off to begin with, so this one is more like a belly band, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with that, and we'll use that in a little bit as well. I am also uh, have some paper clips set out here to be able to use. So let me stick my tools in here so I have them at the ready. I try to, try to make myself use a tool, put it away. I have my little tool caddy. I don't know if you can see it. I'll bring it in here. So I have my tool caddy here with all my tools. I got this at It's All About the Scrapbook. Um, okay, so let's get started. So 
what else did I want to talk to? Oh, I also have a um, container off to the side here. It's just a shoe box that I'm going to put all my scraps in right off the bat so that I don't have to go digging all over my desk for them. <laughs> as as usually, hands up. <laughs> so we're going to um, get started on uh, covering Uh, our thing but first we have to go through and fix um, oh I had a message on my video um, and it asked if I was going to cover up the windows and I said yes I'm going to cover them all up but I'm thinking after looking at this I might leave this one open since I already have this open um, makes it easy to cover and put things where you need it to go and then we can decide if we want to do it as a pocket because we'll have to cover this and we'll have to cover most of this but we could just rip out around that so it's uh, if we want to use them and then we could seal it up if we still want to use it as a pocket okay um, so I want to go through each page. Most of them I have fixed, but I left this one here so that it wouldn't take so long in the video. Get rid of this. Um, and this, I will use my art glitter glue for this. And I'm going to pick up any port part of the Hopefully I'm still in there. Any part of the... And I know I've got a bad shadow. I've got extra lights up, but it didn't... Uh, and this has a little piece inside that's folded in. Okay, so I'm just going to clip that down. Okay, and then I also want to go through any part of the envelopes... I'm just going to do that with this hand. We'll see. We'll see how well I do. Just using the one hand. And then I'm going to go over that. Sorry, my bracelet. I should I should know better. <laughs> um so I'm going to wipe that off. Any excess glue. And then this is where your bone folder comes in really handy to get that all flatten down. If my bracelet bothers anybody, uh, let me know in the comments and I will, um, let's see that, oops, yeah, that's a good thing to do. Just give yourself a paper cut right off the bat. This is not a pocket, it's just taped down. So um, sometimes you'll, you'll go along and you'll think, oh yeah, I didn't even see that one, but we'll repair them as we find them. here. These I think I fixed. This this way. This one here. And like I said, we'll, uh, as we go along, I'll still find ones that need to be fixed. Okay, and we got our, did we get our back one done too? Yeah. This side. Okay. Go back to the front. All right. I think the hardest part of the whole project is putting the pen back in the glue. <laughs> there we go. But you, you want to make sure that you do that. Oh, and then the um, last most important thing is your coffee, your tea, your water, whatever you want to drink. Because you need to keep hydrated, right? Okay, I'll tell you a story about that cup as we're going along. <laughs>
All right. So let me grab my papers here so we can start covering this up. And I also have um, my book pages and some of my neutral pieces. Uh, this is a job ticket and I slice it across so that I can put different layers so I don't have to dig into it. I can just reach everything from the outside. Okay, let's set that over here. All right, so let's take a look. Kind of just gonna... And here's where you can see, say you want a bird underneath there. You could tell if that's gonna show enough to where you want to see it which that actually is kind of cute so we can either put him right against the part here or we can put him against the over here um, so that he shows from the background and that way you could still use your pocket and when your pocket when you take the stuff out of your pocket this is still cute which is what I think we'll do. So, let's get my uh, ruler here. And let's just start by getting this approximately where we need it. Okay. And if you're going to put things over where it um, bends at, here, where the fold is, go past it. Go either before it or past it. Okay, so I like this. Let me get my glue paper here. I just have a key, piece of cardstock that I keep off to the side. And I am going to use my glue stick, and I could see that was pretty much going, that will cover right up to the edge of that there. Okay, so I am just going to put this all across. Yeah, I'm sorry for these. Uh, it's really overcast here today, and so I don't have any light hardly <laughs> coming in. It's all dark. <laughs> all right, so let's put our paper on there. Move this for a second. And I'm just going to put my finger where it's on the edge of the paper here. There we go. And then this is a good place for your bone folder. And of course I cut that crooked, but we can, we can straighten that out. Okay, so. a line here for right now. You really do want to make sure that your paper is um, your glue is dry. But I'm going to just use my ruler to help from that creasing in because it will crease inward for whatever reason. Okay. And while we have this, 
I'm just going to take my scissors and follow along in here. I'm just using the envelope as a template so that cuts off on the main part. And where was the little piece? Right here. Okay, so let's figure out what works for this. I like um, straighten that out to a line here. So I'm going to use that line right there. Okay. I'm going to tear straight down that line. Is this line right here Okay. okay, so the tricky part is to get this to stay so we know where we need it. just so I know where it's in between and make sure that doesn't show okay So the piece off here. Let me just go up to the top of the make a little line. We can erase it afterwards there and here. This is off of Sherry's uh, Butterflies and Birds, I think. I'll leave a link to this one. I thought I would just link as we go. We have our little bird. Erase my little marks 
this here. Okay, so we got that one. Because I think I'll probably end up covering this part up here. Okay. So what I can do here is I want to just cover the rest of that. Which way I am, yeah, that'll I don't want that to show. Okay, I'm gonna put these in my scrap things over here and we'll just kind of continue on. So we'll go with whole pieces as we start. You can just keep coming back and forth to what you um, what you have. So This is cute up here, and when that's closed, move this over just a little bit so that'll still show because that'll peek up out of the top. And we could possibly be covering uh, more. I got this so we can just open that up. So you just keep going along, uh, make a little line here where the mark is. So I should do one at the bottom. That way I'm not getting all cattywampus here. And you know, if you're um, you want it a little smaller, you go to the inside of the line. You want it a little bigger, uh, <laughs> you keep going over it. Go to the uh, inside of the line if you want it smaller. Go to the outside of the line if you need it a little bigger. I'll stick this over here in my pile for now. See how we did on that. Okay, that's perfect. That on there, let's make another mark at the bottom. We could do that afterwards, and I'll show you how to do that. That'll be a good, good thing to do. So we're gonna cover this. Have to make sure I get my edges first. down because it doesn't go all the way down. Be sure to put your lid back on your glues. The um, nice part about the glue stick is it does give you a little bit of a wiggle room. So let me get that in there. I like to get one side lined up. Okay, 
So there's that. And then when we have this part closed, that's going to have that. Okay. Then I'm going to flip this over this way. And turn this. I put this in my scrap box, that in my scrap box, that in there. Try and keep my desk a little bit clean. Just need the little ruler for this. So that'll be a cute thing to put in somewhere. Okay. So I think I'll wait to cover that up. This is a full sheet, so let's see where this can go in here. Yeah, that'll work. So we can use that whole thing here. Move my papers over. <laughs> with my dog. <laughs> okay. So let's just do that. Try to make sure it, I got it all covered. <clears throat> she don't want bubbles. Okay, so I'm going to go up just past it, just a hair. I think. And anything you don't have covered, you can put something over. taking that off. <laughs> okay. So. Just like to make sure I've got it all adhered down. Okay. I could turn that over. bottom. Tear that off. Anything that doesn't tear, don't worry about it. Um, I just take my scissors and cut that off. And this folds this way. So again, I'm going to try to use my And then I'm going to leave this for now because I don't know that I'm going to glue this down as a pocket or leave it open. OK, 
Okay, so now we've got all this inside. And you, you can possibly cover things up, so don't worry too much about what's, what's on it. Because um, we're going to just keep going over it. So this is going to go to there. Okay, I like this edge here, and I'm not too crazy about that edge, so I think I'm just going to rip this back a little bit, and we can cover that up. Like I said, don't don't worry if you rip crooked or you, um, because we can cover that all up. This I want to do this whole page, so. Let's just put this on here and go to town. <laughs> you can use our glitter glue if you'd rather. Um, like I said, I just want to make sure I get all my edges really good down because that's the main part. But you can, like I showed you with the other stuff before, you can go over it with your uh, art glitter glue, anything that sticks up. with this light coming down this way I can see pretty much if I have it glued in the right spot or not. So we'll get that to that corner. on the table there. <laughs> okay, let's pull this apart up. There we go. Okay. scraps. Yeah, the only thing you have to watch is if you get stuff upside down. But if you do get it upside down, don't worry because you can just cover it up with another piece of paper. Okay, this is going to be our part that folds in. There'll be a journal here. Okay, I see these parts right here aren't attached down. This is going to be covered, so it's not so uh, so bad. But you know, still want to get it down as best you can. We're doing pretty good about not getting the wrinkles. Usually, when you have wet glue, it uh, um, makes it hard. <laughs> okay, so I can put 
something in this part here. And it's not all going to be shown together, so I can go over this part a little bit if I want to. That leaves... Yeah, I think I'll bring it up this way. So you can just cover one part, you can cover the whole part, but like I said at the beginning, it doesn't matter too much because I'm gonna to have to put something over the top of this um, to cover that seam up. I'll have to put something over the top of this to do that. So, uh, you know, no worries, no worries. So I think I'll come from the bottom up this time and cut the top off because I want this on there. Doesn't mean it's still going to be showing by the end, but that's what we're going to start with. How's that? That makes sense. <laughs> Clear as mud. scrap box. Those are great for covering those little bits and pieces if we need. Okay, this will be easier for me to do because I'm at the bottom here. Oops. over hopefully I'm where I need to be I can't get my head over the top of that to see so okay like I said don't worry about it anything that sticks out Cut it off, and then once it's dry, we can work on that again. Okay, so let me get my ruler again here. This folds the other way. My scrap box. Hey, I'm doing pretty good, other than trying to put my glue lid on. Well, I didn't get too good at sticking those in. I'm trying to take the sticky stuff off my scissors there. Okay, let's get this going back in the right direction. We got that. This is going to come this way, go that way. Okay.
Okay, so we got our front. This is going to fold in this way. This comes over this way. So see what that does right there when, when you have it um, on a fold? So you know what? Let's, let's do this. This is always harder to get to. <laughs> it at the other side of the there we go it's gonna go like that there so we have our front so that is pretty much so we have that covered we have all that that and then we could just turn it over and start on the back side. So I think um, I will quit here for now and uh, we'll pick up on the back side because this really needs to dry good. Um, and uh, so we'll need to we'll need to do that. So I'm going to fold it up and then give it a good creasing this way and this way. So when your glue's wet, it'll it'll um, round itself up, but it'll straighten out as it dries. Okay, so let's just let that dry good, and we'll come back and um, do the back side. All right. Um, oh, I told you I'd tell you about my coffee mug. So I, I'll put a card up here as for the video. Um, it uh, I did did an unboxing. Uh, go live video on Facebook where I did um, I unboxed my Cricut mug press and um, yeah I did the whole video and at the end took this off and realized it was upside down <laughs> so, so my saying is upside down so I'll show you in the next video before I pour my coffee what it actually looks like um, or you can see it in that video so, um, all right, you guys, uh, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll put a video over here you might be interested in. And um, go create something fun, and we'll see you in uh, a day or so. All right, bye-bye. Go create something fun.